In this tutorial, we'll show you how you can use the Rodan specification and proving tool, which we're going to use uh, throughout the course for you to learn about the modeling and also refinements uh, that we taught in the lecture. And it's going to be our first exposure. It's going to be a light for a small example just to introduce to you the different uh, basic constructs in the Rodan tool. Let's now try to uh, access the, the, the tool from the cloud, the EECS Remote Lab. So you don't really need to install the uh, Rodan tool on your machine. Of course, if you want to, it will be optional, but we're going to rely on the Remote Lab installation on the Remote Lab. It's going to be the official uh, installation for this course. Okay, so now let's go, uh, get to the cloud uh, access. So you can simply type this address here. You may want to bookmark it for later access. HTTPS colon double forward slash remote lab dot EECS dot yoku dot CA. I will also include the link uh, under the video description so you can see that. If you click on that, uh, it's going to prompt you for your EECS login. In case you don't really have an EEC login, it's not very likely, but just in case. You can actually go to uh, this site, uh, this link over here. Okay, you can see https colon double forward slash web app dot eecs dot yoku dot ca forward slash ACTIV8. And that will prompt you to really uh, create your eecs login. My recommendation would be create a login name that's actually the same as your PPY login. Remember your email. Uh, something at myyorku.ca that something should be the login name for your PPY, Passport York and also for your ECS account ideally. All right, let's now go back to Remote Lab. And I'll leave the account activation in case it's not done to you. Let's go to Remote Lab and then uh, let me use my student account. It would be sjackie over here and enter the password and login. And you will just take some time. Okay, it's good. So currently I have no connection to any of the remote lab machine. That's okay. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna uh, expand the manual list for EA. So the EA machines are the physical machine that are actually sitting in the prison lab in the Lausanne building. So we are connecting to them. So expand the list. And then uh, typically it should be quite unoccupied so and also given the size of the current course you should you should be able to always get a free machine that should not be a problem okay so you can choose any one of them for example i can choose maybe ea uh 17. click on that and then it's going to connect to the uh, that particular machine using your ecs account so whatever work you actually do over there is going to be saved uh, in your account so but always make sure to really back up your work either by emailing yourself or maybe by using the github a private repository if you want to but if you got any trouble you can let me know otherwise it's optional right just make sure you back up your work how do we launch the rodent okay let me show you the wrong way to do it again it's the wrong way the wrong way to do it would be if you simply go to activities and then uh if you simply type rodent over here please do not really uh click on that because uh, this uh, icon over here may not necessarily be connected or uh, to the latest version of the rodent. You always have to make sure you actually connect to the latest rodent tool. Otherwise, you may have some issue. Okay, rather than going this way, okay, I would suggest like this. Right click on the desktop and then click on open terminal over here and R-O-D-I-M, rodent. Okay, and then uh, hit on the tab key on your keyboard. And then you will see there are different versions of the rodent and the latest version at the time of recording should be 3.6. Always choose the latest version. Okay, so the latest version will be 3.6. So currently it's a winter 2020, uh, 2022. So that's the latest version. And rodent 3.6 and then percent to run it on the background and then enter. So that will be the correct way to launch the latest version. All right. And we just need a workspace. Uh, to actually save all your work. So the easiest way, uh, one possible way I'll show to you, you can simply right click, create a new folder on your desktop. Let's call that EECS3342 and then workspace and then say create. So there's an empty workspace to begin with and then any tutorial projects that we're gonna uh, guide you through, we're gonna save in this particular workspace. And any extra projects you wanna practice by yourself, you can save uh, save the projects here as well. It's uh, straightforward, okay? And let me just show you how you can browse uh, to there. So you can just go to desktop and then click on that particular empty folder we just created, right? You only need to create a workspace only once, 
okay and then say open all right and then launch all right that's how you can launch the rodent and it's guaranteed to be the stable version that's going to work okay for the very first time you may have the welcome tab over here you can close it and then you can now maximize uh over here so that's the tool over here that's the look and feel for the tool it should be very similar to uh, the Java Eclipse uh, IDE that you uh, you actually uh, learned before, but we're gonna uh, guide you through about uh, the uh, the important features for using the tool, maybe uh, one uh, one at a time. So for this week, we only show some features. We'll show others in the later tutorial, one at a time. And uh, I personally like to uh, drag and drop this outline. Uh, outline uh, panel over here to collapse together with the uh, event b explorer you can think about it event b explorer is like a package explorer in your eclipse but it's uh, just showing event b projects rather than java projects right it's uh, straight uh intuitive so i was uh, i would suggest click on that and hold it and drag it to over here to make sure you see the vertical bar uh, you see the horizontal bar right right beside the event b explorer and drop all right so outline is now here that's my recommendation okay you will see different parts in the id as well we got event b explorer as soon as we create new projects into it we'll see that and also outline is going to show the internal structure of a particular uh machine or maybe context i believe and also we got problems if you got any uh compilation problem or maybe a constraint problem you will see them here and also we got symbols so symbols are based whenever you want to write some mathematical specification you can look at the symbol over here for example if you move your mouse over the uh, you can see this arrow over here that remember that's a total function that we learned in the lecture how do we put an ascii uh character for the total function it will be dash dash greater than right you can see the ascii over there and similarly if you see not a member of that will be uh sorry not a uh not a strict uh subset not a proper subset of that'll be another symbol over there right you can look up the symbol yourself but if you later if uh if you cannot uh i think you can also make some cheat sheet uh cheat sheets yourself about how to go from mathematical symbol into ascii character maybe that's something i can uh, uh help you out maybe in the q a as well anyway we'll see and one thing to also re uh, remind you over here you can see uh, around the uh, top right corner over here we can say event b remember in the eclipse there are at least two perspectives that you, you will have to switch back and forth very often one is the java perspective in which you simply write or add your java programs the other perspective is called a debugging perspective whenever you want to debug your pro java program you have to switch to that debug perspective so you will be able to step in step over and step return from your java code that's an analogy so in our event b uh, in our rodent tool there are also two perspectives which i'll definitely show you in the later part of this video so if you uh currently we are just by default in the event b perspective whenever you are constructing the specification of your model you are in the event b perspective to edit your model like editing your java program but whenever we want to prove some properties of your model we have to go to the proving perspective so that will be analogous to the debugging perspective right hopefully that makes sense but we're going to show you how you can add the proving perspective in just a moment all right that's all i want to say let's now try to create a uh, new event b projects okay and then we're going to show you do some initial setup and then we're going to do some uh simple exa uh, simple example but i'll try to be very thorough about uh, every basic construct that we're going to go over okay let's now create a new projects that the uh the e uh, there are different ways you can do it you can either right click on the event b explorer and then uh actually sorry you cannot right click here okay i beg your pardon you can simply just go to file and then new event b project that's the easiest way to do it let's do it that way event b projects over here give a name okay so uh in this tutorial we're going to do some simple bank uh tutorial to introduce you to uh the rodent tool let's say bank over here okay that'll be good enough and then uh don't worry too much about the working set you can say, say bank and then say finish go back to event b explorer okay i think uh, i used to try to right click on the outline that's why i was not able to let me try again if i go to event b explorer over there if i right click i'm also able to actually create a new project over there so now I, I, so there are two ways for you to create a new project either you can right make sure you are now in the event b explorer uh panel that's the active panel right now right click and then you can say new 
uh, event B projects over here. Make sure, not projects, but event B projects. That's approach number one. Approach number two is what we did. You can say file and new and then event B projects rather than project, right? It's gonna be specialized event B projects, all right? All right, so that's basically the uh, projects over here. Let's now check one more thing before we end the current video, right? If you actually just go back to the uh, file system of your uh, student account, okay? So what you can do is you can simply click on the workspace and we are currently in the bank uh, project that was just created. You can see currently it's simply just empty. Any model or any proofs that we may conduct in this particular project, the source files will be uh, included over here. So I'm gonna show it to you at the end about uh, about how you can export your entire project as a zip file. That's the best way for you to actually back up your projects. Either you can use a GitHub or you can just uh, email the zip file to your email account or maybe some Google Drive. I'll leave that uh, process to you. Just make sure it will be responsible for backing up all your work throughout the course, all right? Okay, so that's about uh, how you can launch the uh, rodent uh, actually from uh, from the remote lab from EECS. And please make sure, always try to launch the rodent tool from the command line in the terminal. All right, in the next video, we'll show, show you how you can make some default setup for the prover.